So this is a tough video for me to make too because I want to sell my coach. As soon as I got back to Bend, I could really smell smoke in the air, so I'm a little bit concerned. You know someone's a good friend when they let you plug in. Coach is looking good. The air quality in Bend, Oregon was the worst of the worst. I'm a little bit concerned though. There's not a smoky smell in here. Much worse. This is not good. Huge thanks to the RV Glass Guru for sponsoring today's video. RV Glass Guru specializes in large one-piece windshield replacement. They have a team of installers that service the entire state of Arizona, as well as a nationwide network. They put a new windshield in my Tiffin over a year ago, and I couldn't be more happy with the service I received. The RV Glass Guru offers discounts to veterans and first responders. Thank you to all of you that have served our country. Sadie Lady definitely loves sitting in these front chairs here. I just let her sit up there. No big deal. Sadie Lady is just happy. She gets to go see some of her friends. Guys, this is not good. I'm very thankful to have good friends that let me uh, store my coach for free over the last month. Let's go check on it though and see if there's any smell. up here in Bend, Oregon. I gotta put my sweatshirt on. There's a musky smell in here. All right, guys, this is not good. There's a musky smell. I can smell water. Uh, everything looks good, but I just know something's not right. What I think happened is when I was in Sturgis, the last time I used the coach, my refrigerator had a leak. So what happened was I got a bang on the door. The neighbor told me that there was water coming out of the side of my coach. I came back here and I actually fixed it here. So I found the leak and I repaired it. Now repairing the leak wasn't enough because there was water still in the coach. So this basically, this had come undone and I'm running this off of propane right now, by the way. I know a lot of people, this might be a good reason to get a residential refrigerator, but basically it was just this line had come undone, but it was just pouring out water out of the side of the coach. And, oh man, it doesn't seem like there's any moisture, but my fear is, is that water got inside underneath the, the refrigerator they're trapped. And it's always something with these. Always something. Well, let me put the slide outs out here. And uh, so this tile fell off. That's bugging the heck out of me. It's on the step cover and that comes out. So I gotta get something better to reinforce that so that doesn't come off again but um oh man sadie's still happy that's what's important okay it's about 24 hours later and there's no smell in here at all it's just totally normal now i still think that i have a problem and before I left my coach here, when I was coming back from South Dakota and I had all the slide outs in, I thought I started to smell a little bit of a musky smell, but wasn't sure. Maybe it was the trash, who knows? And I still think that this is the problem. So 
what I'm thinking happened is, is if there's water below the refrigerator and then the slide out comes in, that nasty smell is going to kind of permeate into the coach. This is a really important lesson because there's a lot of ways that RV dealers can manipulate coaches. I'm going to go sit in this chair. It looks more comfy. I need the comfy chair for this chat because... Oh man, so this is a tough video for me to make too because I want to sell my coach. So imagine someone considering buying my coach. This could totally ruin the deal, but I'm going to be transparent. And I'll be honest, there's a lot of people out there that probably are not as transparent. It's much easier to sweep stuff under the rug. I could say just keep the slide outs out all the time. You know, I live in Arizona. Hopefully it'll dry out eventually, but. I know I've got a problem, and it, this is something as small as just like a little smell that comes and goes. It's not even a permanent smell. Like, I guess I'm a little bit stuffy, but cleared. It's rained here, so the air is clear, so there's no smoky smell on the air. I definitely can't smell it. So, this is something that there's a lot of people. It'd be really easy to sell this coach to someone and cover it up because you would the way I would cover this up if I was a shady salesman and I, this would be it's probably costing me a lot of money to not do it this way but it's just my integrity and that's number one so what you would do is you would show the coach with the slide outs out and then get the person all excited just have it sitting and then you're going to put the slide outs in while they drive it well it was it was like five or six hours of me driving before I kind of noticed that smell. So you put the slide outs in, blame it the smell on maybe the gray tank, or you know, they'd they'd easily blame it on the gray tank. If if the RV salesman says, Oh no, that's just the, the gray tank, make sure you address all odors before buying an RV. So to put my slide outs out, I've got to have these are hydraulic slides on this side, so I have to have the ignition turned on the on position and the low air is going to come on because it's been sitting, that's normal. I'm going to give you guys some music to watch so you don't have to listen to that. The bed's not made, I'm pretty embarrassed here. I did change the sheets. I think I might have hit a tree. Oh yeah, well I guess it's below the tree, but yeah, I was hearing the branches, so I'm just gonna leave that one out. Put this slide out, out. Oh, it's good to be in my coach. It's always something, guys. This was a problem I did not have a month ago, and boom, this is what happens. I just, you know, I drove my coach to Sturgis, I had that leak, and I was hoping that all that water escaped but that's and i'm hoping that's the problem i'm just kind of guessing and I, the more things that have broken and have been fixed people it just if people know about it they kind of devalue the coach a little bit so but seriously so this may change my whole plan so who knows how expensive of a repair this is going to be uh, i am up here in oregon i'll go talk to the guys at premier rv man and it's just a smell so that's something too when you're looking for a coach uh, you really want to touch it and smell it. Smell for any musky smells. Anything that doesn't smell right, you got a problem. So, um, this coach has been sitting for two weeks. It just should have that, like, nothing smell. Not a musky smell. Oh, man. All right, guys. I appreciate all of you liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. Thanks again. I hope you're all having a great day.